Welcome to Tiger King's YouTube channel. Believe it or not, when I was called as a master of Tiger Walking Cup, mostly I focused on making a beautiful world to show off. However, building up some experiences on the customer's job site, I realized that making a product straight is more important. There are many cases where people have a hard time installing welded products because they are out of misalignment tolerance. In the worst case, you may have to build it again. It brings about lots of losses money-wise as well as time-wise. Let's take a look at my job fabricating a pressure vessel head. The nozzle is supposed to be straight by the drawing. However, the spirit level shows the ferrule is out of angular tolerance. This nozzle may not be connected to the other pipeline properly. Please watch how I fix it first and let's learn together what affects the misalignment tolerance. I give a hit to the side where it needs to be constricted. Please watch the magic. It's an easy fix. If it had been tilted the other side, it would have been a big pain to fix it. First, let me explain why it wasn't straight after welding. Most of you will fit the nozzle onto the vessel head straight. That's what the drawing says. Next, you will weld and inspect it to be straight. Unfortunately, it will not be straight. Mostly, it will be tilted to number one side. What happened? First, number one side has more weld deposit by each shape. Second, number one side retains more heat and stress. Eventually, number one side shrinks more. All these factors make the nozzle tilt to number one side rather than be straight. This is a very important concept for the stainless steel TIG weld. Let me introduce how I fit up a nozzle on the pressure vessel head. When I fit up, I don't make it straight. I tilt it around 0.5 to 1 degree to number 2 side because I know the nozzle moves back to number 1 side after welding. There is another reason why I tilt it to number 2 side. After welding, there are going to be three cases. Being straight, that's perfect, but it happens very rarely. Tilted outside, it is very easy to fix. Tilted inside, it is a big pain to fix it. That's why I fit the nozzle to tilt outside around 1 degree on purpose, so it's not inclined toward the inside at least. Let's just study what happens when you weld a pipe spool. I have to weld a pipe and a 90 degree elbow joint. Where do I have to start? If you start from the elbow through side, it will get more heat retained and stress. Therefore, it will be out of level like the picture. Like the nozzle, it is very hard to fix it if it is tilted to the through side. With these reasons, I strongly recommend to start from the heel side. As you see in the video, I always start to weld from the elbow heel side. The pipe is flat. However, the upright French face is tilted to the elbow heel side. So I decided to concentrate the heat to elbow throat to make a straight. As I expected, it became straight. I know you want to learn welding skills from me, but understanding how the weld heat affects is more important. I think I have covered basic knowledge 
beginners should know through the last episodes, and plan to introduce welding skills from coming up episodes. Not only welding skills, my channel will cover overall subjects such as layout, fit up, but polishing, etc. I'm not the best welder. I don't have a book knowledge. However, I'm sure my skills and experiences can be a help for people who are entering into this welding trade. I will upload a new episode every Wednesday. Stay tuned and subscribe, please, if it helps you. Thank you.